Once we have our product set up and we've configured our ability to accept payments and apply the appropriate taxes to those transactions, it's time to focus on getting those orders from us to the customer. So now let's talk about shipping. Shipping is managed in three primary parts of the website, all right next to each other. If we go to stores and configuration, then if we scroll down to sales and open that up and scroll down a little bit more, we have shipping settings, multi shipping settings and shipping methods. Let's take a look at these one at a time. Shipping settings is pretty brief. We're just going to put in the origin. This is where we're shipping from so that we charge the appropriate rates based on where the order is going to. And then shipping policy parameters. What this is, is if you select yes here, then you can just have a shipping policy that will appear to the customer. Usually that's not necessary, but it's an option. So I'm just going to fill in some information here. And apparently I'm uh, going to be shipping from Birmingham, California. Not that that's a real place, but it doesn't really matter for our purposes at this point. As always, you'll save your configuration. And we're going to need to flush our cache later. But before we do that, let's go on down to multi-shipping settings. This part of the website is also pretty self-explanatory. We can allow shipping to multiple addresses. By default, that's set to yes. If we want to turn that off, of course, we can change that to no. But we'll keep that as yes. And then we have a maximum quantity allowed for shipping to multiple addresses. So if someone orders more than this number of things, they will not be allowed to ship to multiple addresses. Again, pretty self-explanatory. Now, if we go down to shipping methods, this is really the meat of your shipping configuration. So we have a lot more options here, a lot more things to play around with. We'll start with flat rate. To enable flat rate shipping means that you're going to charge one flat rate per item or per order. So first, if we want this enabled, we're just going to make sure that we have enabled yes. If we want to turn off flat rate shipping, of course, we'll change that to no. Title flat rate is what's going to appear to the customer when they're selecting their shipping method. Method name is also going to appear to the customer. Sort of what this is, is this is kind of a more descriptive term. Flat rate is kind of like the title and method is kind of like the description. You can think about it that way. Uh, these two things mostly come into play when you start working with uh, UPS and USPS and things like that. In those cases, the title will be UPS and then it will have maybe three or four or five or six different methods via UPS. So you have UPS ground, UPS air, things like that. Then for flat rate, we have type. And if we deselect use system value, we can do this per order or per item. We can also do none. And what none will do is it will not charge anything for the price that we put here for the flat rate. However, it will apply the handling fee. So basically we're saying if we select none here, then there is no charge for a flat rate. However, if we have a handling fee configured here, then the handling fee will be applied on top of that essentially zero price. Your selection here is going to depend largely on what types of things you're selling. Uh, we're, we'll stick with per item for now. And let's say we want to change our price to $1. Now, this is not to say that this is going to be the case for every order. Again, this is only the case for orders where the user chooses flat rate. And then handling fee is on top of whatever the calculated rate is. So if we say we're going to charge a, a 50 cent handling fee and we're charging a $1 flat fee per item and a customer orders three items, then they're going to pay $3.50. The handling fee is not applied per item. It's applied per order, regardless of what the shipping charges are in general. For calculate handling fee, we can change this to fixed or percent. Now, in most cases, percent is going to make more sense. We'll keep this as fixed just because that's what we've already been playing around with. But usually when you're charging a flat rate, you're going to want that to be some sort of percentage, but not always. 
Then we have an error message for if someone tries to select this and they're not able to. We have options for the flat rate, again, specifically, to ship to applicable countries. And for this, usually, it's going to be all allowed countries, unless you want your flat rate to be maybe different from your other rates. You can choose specific countries and then handpick the countries down here. But we're going to stick to all allowed countries using the system value. Now, just as a reminder, this all allowed countries option refers to the countries we set up that we were willing to ship to in general, general up here. I'm not going to go there so we can stay on this page, but that's where that configuration is. That's what all allowed countries refers to. And as usual, sort order simply refers to where this rate appears in relation to the other rates. Let's take a look at free shipping. Now, of course, free shipping, as you can tell by its title, is an option where the customer will be charged nothing for shipping. Usually, this minimum order amount is the crucial setting here, because you don't want to just, in most cases, always provide free shipping as an option. Otherwise, you're gonna be losing a lot of money shipping things to customers. But some sites will have, say, a $50 minimum to get free shipping. If you order $50 worth of stuff for us, then we'll pay for the shipping ourselves. It's just a way to incentivize customers to spend a little bit more money. Of course, if we do want this to be allowed, we need to enable it. So instead of no, we're going to deselect use system value and change this to yes. And then we have free shipping and free. These are the words that the customer is going to see. Pretty self-explanatory there. And other things similar to flat rate. 